Now we can do this um, also per word. Now this time, each word is going to animate on instead of each letter. So how many words are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should be at seven at the end here. And our ending will be at seven also. So now our, our uh, letters or our words are going to animate word by word. So uh, that's cool there. Now we've got the mode here which um, tells how the words are going to uh, animate on. So I have add right now. That means the words are coming on right now. Now if I want to change, if I change this to sub subtract and I preview it, now the words are going to subtract out. And then you can mess with these other uh, modes here and figure out what they do. I'm just going to go over those two real quick because those are the most important ones. Now amount is just uh, the amount that everything happens. You don't really need to mess with that too much. The smoothest here is the next one that I want to go over. So I have a smoothest at 100%. Let me change this back to add because we want the words to animate on. If I change the smoothest to zero and do my animation, you'll see that they just pop on. So that's how the smoothness works. If I put it at 50%, you guys will see that it it just uh, is a lot faster and is not as smooth when they pop on. So that's what smoothness does. Put that back at 100%. Now we've got the ease high and ease low here. These are kind of like your easy ease keyframes almost. So if I animate this ease low, to 100 percent it's going the uh, text is going to start out fast but then ease in when it's uh, animating so that looks pretty pretty nice actually now if I go the opposite way and put the ease low at 100 or zero and the ease high at 100 it's going to start out slow and then just go animate on at the end faster As you can see there, let's let it go again so you can see it again. There we go. So that's how those work. So I'm going to keep this at zero, and I'm going to put the ease low at 100 because I like that look a little better. Now, when our text is animating on here, it seems to be each each uh it seems to be animating each pretty much each letter at the same time instead of animating them all together from the same point they're animating out from their from their letter if you understand what that means I'll show you when I come up here to I'm gonna close the advance a little I'm gonna come up to more options and we have these more options up here and this, we have this one called anchor point grouping if you click on it and I move to the end here you can see that all these little X's show up this is where the anchor point is for each um, letter and space. And this is how it's going to animate up. I can change the anchor, point, or anchor point grouping to word. And now the anchor points are here at the, uh, at the ends here, or at, in the middle of the words. And instead of each, uh, each set of uh, letters animating from the anchor point it's going to animate from the center of the word now now I'll send you a, or I'll do a ramp preview for you there so we got that going on now that looks a little better than what we just had but it, I mean what looks good and what doesn't always depends on your project so now we can change the anchor point here of the where the words animate from by moving this grouping alignment here 
And if you watch the little X's in the comp screen, I'm going to move the X's to the left by scrolling, scrubbing to the left on my axis point here. And they're going to animate from this corner now. So there we go. Now one of the cool things is you can add more animation animators or uh, animation properties to this type of animation. So if I come to this add button here right next to my animator, I'm going to close my more options right now and I click add property, I can add something like the opacity to this. And if I set the opacity down all the way, now it, now the anim, uh, the opacity is going to animate on along with the scale. As you can see this is not opaque, it has some transparency in it because the opacity is also getting animated on. And it's going to take on the same properties that you have all selected in your advanced settings and in the range selector. So you can add more properties to the range selector, which is really cool. So uh, that's how you use your uh, range, your animate tool here. And we can add other, we can even add everything here that we want. Add blur, we can add I mean, we can change the skew and everything like that. We can have them rotate in when they animate on and everything. So that's how you use your uh, range selector and animator properties there. That's a uh, basic intro to uh, some typography here. And you just use that and mess around with that thing. And I'll make some more tutorials about how to use that more in depth. And we can make some really cool stuff. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you guys learned some cool stuff, and I hope you guys have a nice day. See you guys later.